from time to time I get asked, how can you tell if a tube's auto gating? Um, as someone recently noted in one of the uh, threads, it is possible to detect the electric field with an oscilloscope. Since I just got a new oscilloscope, I thought, what a great test to do, and I'll share this one with you. So we're currently looking at a photonist tube. They auto gate at approximately 6 millisecond intervals, or at about 166 hertz uh, auto gating frequency, which is audible, but um, you're not going to hear it. Uh, that kind of sound at this intensity would be well and truly lost. So I'm just about to turn the tube on. You won't see anything yet. Um, and now I'm going to expose it to normal room light. And there we have the classic auto gating um, as the uh, electric field turns on and off. I'll just cover the, uh, the actual tube with my hand a little bit, letting some light through, but it's not auto gating at the moment. As I start to move my hand, we can see the auto gating start to kick in. And what we get is this, this classic image where um, the line at the bottom, uh, as it moves to the right, the auto gating is increasing, and as it moves back to the left, it's decreasing. So that's at about 50% auto gating. That is the tube's only being turned on half the time. That's at about 25% and about 75%. Now, when I take my hand right away, it gets close to 100, maybe maybe 95% uh, turned off. So that's how the tube deals with bright conditions, as it turns off the photocathode 95% uh, of the time when indoors in normal lighting. I'll just put my hand in front of the lens again, and the auto gating just shuts off straight away. So um, that's how you can detect auto gating with, uh, with a cathode ray oscilloscope, or uh, DSO in this case. and. Uh, determine whether the tube you've got is auto-gated or not without having to take it apart. Thank you.